Hey, what's up, beautiful babies? We are not podcasting. We are back with another episode of Silent Vlog. Reliving the memories. Reliving the memories. So if you are like, wait, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Okay, so we like to stockpile our vlogs and we like to shoot a lot of content. And then, so we have the huge stockpile of content and then we go and we start editing and then it goes to get uploaded and that's when you guys watch it. Uh, So in the editing phase, we found out that mid vlog, mid day, our microphone on our camera broke, causing us to have zero audio for the next nine vlogs. All right. So instead of us going shit and then throwing the footage away because we genuinely love having these memories for us to look back on. This one specifically is cool because we go to Utah. Yes. Beautiful. So there's just no way we're going to throw these in the trash. So we're going to walk you through what we remember was happening in this day. And we get to relive it. Yes. It's kind of like a little game. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in and being patient with us during this time. Press play because it already looks funny. I look wrecked. So we're in L.A. at Jill's mom's house, and I believe we're taking off for Utah at like 5 a.m. or something because yeah. uh, we're trying to meet up with our friends. And, you know, we have to drive from Utah through Vegas. I mean, not L.A. through Vegas back into Utah, and it's going to be like like an eight-hour drive or something. Yeah. So those are all your alarms, huh? Yeah. 4 a.m., 5.30 a.m., 5.45 a.m. Yeah, wait a minute. Is this nighttime or daytime? Oh, it's daytime. daytime. We just woke up. <laughs> it's nighttime and daytime at the same time. You could tell it's nice Dude, and dark. Dude, it feels so humid back home in California. Yeah. That like, did you see how poofy my hair is? This, my hair is wet right now and it's so, well, it's like mid dry. It's so small because we just don't have the same humidity here in Vegas. That's crazy to me because I grew up in LA <clears throat> and like you only know what you grow up, right? So that to me is like the standard. Whoa, what is that? What is that? What are we looking at? Look I at this. I think it's the fog from the that mountains. That looks evil, The bro. early mountain. I, thought, I was going to say it looks beautiful. <laughs> no, it is beautiful. I just wanted to be different. Look at you always having a fucking bloody nose. Yeah, but nose. what's crazy is um, <laughs> now living in Nevada, when I go to LA, LA feels like Hawaii to me. Oh. Like humid. It's crazy. I I mean, you haven't been to Hawaii. If I go to Hawaii, it might feel like Taiwan and Taiwan might just feel like I'm just taking a shower. Okay. This part was really hilarious because we went to LA, drop everyone off and then had to drive right back home to fucking Vegas. Uh, Not because we forgot anything is because that's the route. You have to go through Nevada again. So we're like, so yeah, if you're ever driving to Utah, you're probably going to go through Vegas uh, to go to Utah. There's a Salt Lake City sign. Yeah, it was kind of like a uh, a little bit, but it was all right. It was all right. And then we just saw a dirt road and we're like, let's go off road. <laughs> OK, and then something happened to me. I think after I had a kid where I was such a fucking daredevil, I didn't give a shit. I'm like, let's just fucking go. If I die, I die. After Taika, I refused to stay in the truck because I felt like it was going to flip over. I pussied out and I was like, nope, I'm not going. I told with you, you I was going to drive slow, too. I know, but I was just way too scared. Yo, my glasses are cute. <laughs> but I love going on road trips with Mar Bear because we actually haven't been on that many road trips. We've just been flying a lot. And uh, it's cool to kind of go on these road trips and we just do whatever the hell we want. Probably listen to really cool music. That's yeah. probably dancing and seeing cool scenery. And Look it, at how beautiful this drive is. Yeah, and it inspires Ugh. all kinds of like cool conversations that we get to have. I yeah. love going on road trips with you. Yeah, we start. Thank you, baby. I love going on road trips with you, too. You're so chill. You're like super chill, super low maintenance. It's like anything goes with Bart. And I really like that. Um, and I'm just blown away driving through this. Like I just, I'm a sucker for anything mother nature. Um, and I didn't grow up looking at this stuff. Like I grew up, you know, in, in LA city. So all of this for me is new. So I just, I love it. Yeah. For me, I was like, this is beautiful. And this is what my, this is, this is what my truck's made for. And you guys saw that I was <sighs> shopping for a new truck with the TRX. I'm like, this was perfect. Cause like me going through what I want to do more of goes, I know exactly what I need out of my vehicle. What's the name of the song? Do, 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 do. Uh, Robert Miles. What's the name of the song? Maybe Children. Damn it. I dreams. thought it was Sandstorm. No, All right. That's, I fucked that's, up. Na, 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 oh, damn it. I wanted to sing it through the sandstorm that we were going through. Oh, Look dude. at this. Are we in Utah yet or is this Arizona? Holy fuck. That's beautiful. I believe beautiful. we're in Utah. Oh. Yes, look at this. I could just film this and watch it all day. Can we just add some chill music? Oh, cool! To it? Look at all those cows. Yeah, Utah and Nevada landscape is very similar. Obviously, they're right next to each other, and the state line is an arbitrary line. Um, but 
once you start going more deep into Utah and you see all these trees, it just looks beautiful. That was my attempt, I think, at shooting some B-roll. This is a super small town, and we're looking for food, and it was the hardest thing to do because I think it was on a Sunday, mm -hmm. and every single restaurant's closed except for one, and then that one restaurant... Um, the wait was like two hours. I'm like, no, we can't well, be adding two hours. I think it's super Mormon country also. So like they really like, you know, they um, shut it down on Sundays to yeah. praise the Lord. Look at that. That is beautiful. These red rocks. Oof. I love. I love so much. It's so beautiful. I couldn't stop. Like I wanted to stop everywhere. Look at this. Oh, we did. We stop. did stop everywhere. <laughs> we did stop quite we a took, bit. I mean, if you follow us on Instagram, you, you see all the pictures that we took. I love it. Red I love Canyon. it. I felt so young with you. Just us two. Just like kidding. when Tyka's around, then it's like a reminder, like y'all old motherfuckers. But when it's us two, I feel like super young again. Yeah, this part was beautiful. Everything was just red and the, the rock formations just look so cool. Yeah, I kind of, I was like kind of sad Tyka wasn't with us. And like, I know, you know, we brought bikes to just kind of go and explore. Like I really wanted to explore. I was like, do we have to go to freaking New Dog? Which is cool because uh, this trip really inspired us to take Tyka out. So for 4th of July, we booked an RV and we're going to be going to Arizona. And we're going to see all kinds of cool stuff with the young types. And we're for sure going to vlog it. And we're for sure going to do an audio. And we're going to test the mic. Exactly. <laughs> for sure. Okay. So we already at this point looked at like two different restaurants. Each of them had over an hour wait. So then um, we found a subway. And I guess we didn't show that. That's our boy, Matt Vincent. Hey. So we're at location. This place is called Escalante. It's finally made it literally in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. But Matt found this really cool Airstream RV park that that way we can all camp or glamp. Like this is our Airstream it has AC in it, a, a queen size bed, has its own sink. It's beautiful. And every couple gets our own so we don't have to get up in each other's space. Yeah. And then if we wanted to go on our own little couples <laughs> retreat, we can just remove ourselves. It was so comfortable. I loved it. Yeah, and it's tall, dude. I'm 5'11", and I think Matt's probably like 6'1". <clears throat> Sorry, 6'2". And we could stand in there, no problem. Look at us, tallies. I yeah, never realized how tall I am. Yeah, it was just so, I'm just so tall, too, and it's so hard for me to fit, fit myself. I've somehow figured it out. So the landscape 360 all around is beautiful. You see forests. One day we just saw deer just running through the mountains. And uh, there's like canyons and valleys and there's like this big reservoir that we ended up visiting probably like two vlogs later. So there's yeah. a big body of water. And um, this whole area is literally Aww, in the middle of nowhere. I love her. She's like seriously like my soul sister. That's Bonnie. I know you guys haven't seen much of her, but shh, I love her to death. And I'll tell you how in the middle of nowhere we are. One night we decided to order pizza. Uh, I think maybe this night, just to make Who's it simple. Who's touching her boobs there? <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to cook. And I order, and when I called into the local pizzeria, I'm like, "Can I get Hawaiian?" And they're like, "What's that again?" And I'm like, uh, "Pineapple and ham." And they're like, "Okay." And I'm like, "They have Hawaiian pizza at Domino's Pizza Hut." I'm like, "This is super boonies." Look at how our little air streamer came equipped. It had tea bags in there, coffee maker. Uh, a seating area. It had plugs all over the place. Soap, a sink, look little at that. fridge. The fridge. It was so cute. It had everything we needed, and then it had like, you know, uh, bathrooms and stuff was separate from it, which yeah. I think is really cool because I don't want to smell your shit in the morning because yeah. it's gonna and, stay in and there. And the camp bathroom and the camp shower was like that of a resort. It was outdoor showers, but each one has its own big old stall with the heater on the outside. So you never like step out of the water and go, oh, I'm cold. It's just so warm. It's like it was literally like a luxury resort, but with Airstreams. Yes. Look at that. And we have a little day bed, a.k.a. couch. Um, the flooring was really nice. Like they really did a great job. And like I didn't even care that at night you might be able to see us changing or whatever. But when I looked out at night. You couldn't see through anyone's anyway. So that was one of the things I definitely thought about, but I liked it. This Airstream was so beautiful, though. It made me, it did make me want to get a smaller one for a backyard. So we could have like an outdoor chill spot in the back. Yeah. And then that way it's almost like its own small like pool house. Yeah. So if we do need an extra place for people to stay, they can go stay there if it all fits. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try to make it work. Because it was cool. really, really cool. Yeah. Because um, yeah. it was a full size. You could probably get like a half size or yeah. something. Yeah. 
And that was the end of day one of our Utah travel. We do have more coming your way. Um, again, thank you guys so much for your patience as we navigate this, you know, this uh, silent vlog that we uh, that we got into. But yeah, thank you. you. You guys are getting more your way, but you're not just getting silent vlogs. You're also going to be getting some new content that we just recorded a bunch of cool shit out here that we're going to start releasing. And we also have our podcasts, you know, to kind of give you more uh, life insight, if you will. So again, thank you guys so much for your love and support. We appreciate you. We love you. And we got a new mic. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.